Hello and welcome to another costume review. I probably shouldn't be rocking this too much because this is a pain to display. <laughs> this ball mask which I've only ever shown on my Twitch channel, um, you know my live streams, is, bas is basically my second ever ball mask or should I say ball costume I suppose because technically in total if I count all of them this is like the third there's eh, about a fourth about the fourth ball costume thing I have <laughs> okay but the only reason it's hard to display is if it stay if this mask stays in a particular shape for a bit too long it we, it moulds into that kind of form um, and so you know when I bought it it was it was much more easier to display this mask but um, now it's even harder to get it standing like this Ooh, almost knocked it all got to be careful because if I have to re-record all this it's gonna be a pain to set this here again <laughs> I will wear it though but yes this ball little mask I, if I recall is from the spirit um, the USA spirit company I can't remember what they're exactly called um, I'll put like their logo or something on the screen now or somewhere on the screen um, you will see it <laughs> don't worry unless you're blind then oh well podcast it is this is one of my like very old costume things I had um, you know, all the way back in like 2013 and 14 when I started to actually get into costumes and you know, basically, uh, basically have start my costume collection. So um, yeah, it's quite old. So I really don't remember it, and it didn't come with any promotional art at all. But anyways, this this ball looks a bit more shiny for you. And look, there we go. Now I can't do it anymore. Whatever, I picked it up. This ball mask is of course, you know, like a rubbery latex um, mask and it has this weird gem gemonic? Gerum... fuck. <laughs> I can't say the word. Gerum... 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 I know the word I want to say but I just don't know how to actually say it. Like, like for some reason my mouth doesn't want to say the word I can kind of think of the word but I don't know how you would actually say it uh, <laughs> geometric that's close it or oh, whatever I'll have it on screen the word as well <laughs> god damn me anyways I bought it because it looked quite sinister and cool looking and I was like I want to buy that and I did as you can see <laughs> of course Duh. but yeah with this mask the only air holes are the eyes because yeah the, even though it's got like you know like nose depth and the mouth um they're not there is, there is no holes there at all it's completely solid what means you only get it from the eyes and if I nicely show you it's a bit hard to show you um the hole the hole to put your head in is quite small and I will demonstrate it now <laughs> right here we go <laughs> ah my ear ah, there we go almost there Damn it, my fridge is a bit in the way. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. That's me putting on the mask. Like I said, it's quite tight and hard to get into. The headspace is, yeah, big. But the uh, bit to get in to this uh, ball mask is uh, very tight. So it is kind of, it is quite condescending. That uh, basically, you need a small head. But when you put it on, and it's actually on you... <laughs> You kind of need a big head for it to not wibble around because there's quite a lot of uh, headroom and I mean quite a lot but yeah it is quite a cool bull mask oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah this 
is the bull mask <laughs> and also because of the bad headroom uh yes basically it eventually gets to the point where my nose is like right here <laughs> just like on top of the pins um is just right here but anyway, when it gets to this point basically the bull head is kind of pointing down and i kind of you know it's about it's about 15 degrees i got to raise my head up to oh yeah i might be out of frame again um to basically have a straight view when it gets to this point because <laughs> basically when my head is technically really straight it's more down there <laughs> I don't normally wear this one very often because I more just to just have it as a display item um, nowadays. <laughs> just because it's always as hard to get my head in and out of. And basically in the summer this kind of becomes a death trap. Just because it's black <laughs> so it um, kind of you know draws in a bit more heat. Plus the fact it's latex and the, the only air you get into this costume is of course just about under your neck slightly <laughs> and of course from the eyes like I've hopefully already pointed out because um, <laughs> like I said there is no no nostril here you know no, no, no holes for the mouth or the nostrils of the bull but um yeah this is the bull costume <laughs> right, it's time for the pros and cons and the score. The pros of this mask, unique design where you probably wouldn't find this anywhere else. Sure, there are like paper ones that people have done, like you know you can get a template and build it yourself and like a paper mache version, but for like actual latex and one that looks even more cooler than the paper one, trust me this is quite unique. It has great theming for Halloween as well with its like sinister evil looking eyes that it has. You know it's kind of like menacing especially like I said you know if you tilt it down it looks even more menacing. Uh, but that is all the pros for this mask. Cons. You need a small head size to even put your head into this mask at all but you also kind of need a big head to even keep this in place as basically when you put your head in it there is a big head size room um, available but of course there is no way for it to stabilize you know keep it steady so basically it moves around but you need like a big head but like I said earlier you need a small head to even fit in it <laughs> you know to even put it on there are also no air holes other than the gap in your neck if there's any like gap but if you have a thick neck then of course there's no gap in the neck at all then and of course you know the eyes are also the only other place where air can even get to you in that mask so basically there is zero airflow at all in this mask this mask also just molds into place randomly especially if you leave it around um, in a particular shape for a bit too long like I think it takes about 20 hours for it to just mold into a different shape so yeah it causes its factory shape to be ruined and makes it so difficult to even put it back to the original shape at all especially if you don't give it any care or, or what I've been doing which is basically displaying it rather than folding it away and overall packing it away and all that such and of course me displaying it I'm basically keeping the shape intact as best as I can uh, like I said I will admit a bit of it's already moulded and I can't really mould it back but hey it's uh, <laughs> it's mostly intact as as it was when I received it mostly. Now for the verdict score I shall give this a 5 out of 10. I would have loved to give this mask like a 7 or 8 but due to all these like bad little cons it really has degraded the score. I think I'm gonna end the video like this because uh why not <laughs> anyways thank you for watching hope to see you in whatever video that may be um and be sure to join my discord server and you know be sure to subscribe press a like or even maybe you want to comment on something <laughs> maybe you want to comment on something with my uh with this video anyways bye, -bye.
Oh, <laughs> oh,